Welcome back, trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at a 5-0 set here. I am going to be running the same Licky Licky team with the Body Slam. That is going to be an exclusive move to that raid day. And then the Gramble, we did switch it up for Charm so we can have coverage against those fighters to protect the Licky Licky. As we see here, we had a great opening lead. Potentially had to look out for a Sludge Bomb. So we did shield up that first... Uh, Charge move there. It was a bait. That's fine. We're still going to be running with it here. Gramble's still going strong, getting off a of close combat and retreating into Licky Licky here. Although the close combat is going to be resisted on the Clefable, still doing good amount of damage. I did want to retreat because we are going to be lowering our defense and that charm is going to be digging in quite significantly. If we bring in the Licky Licky, we're going to be able to tank those hits or at least the charm moves and put some pressure onto that Clefable that has already taken damage. They're going to be swapping into their Articuno here, and we have no more shields at this point. Icy Wind is going to be lowering our attack, and we should be able to get off one more Body Slam. This is not going to be doing as much damage anymore, but that's fine. Chimp damage is perfectly fine. Unfortunately, they're going to be farming here. I kind of wanted to swap, but then I was thinking, you know what? They're going to hit me with a Icy Wind, so what we're going to do is just bring in the Gramble, and have that as a shield, basically let them waste their energy, bring it in the Swampert. Unfortunately, they did farm a bunch of energy on the Licky Licky, and they're going to be getting off that move onto our Swampert. So we do have lowered attack at this point, going for the Hydro Cannon. They have that one last shield left. We're able to get to another Hydro Cannon. Now, here is the point where I was thinking, shoot, should I have farmed a little bit more? But the charm's doing so much. And since they did get off all that energy and lower our attack, we're able to actually get to another Hydro Cannon and take our first win here. So looking great. Moving it into the next battle here. Let's see what we can uh, have going on. And we're met with another great lead, Garatina Altered Form. So we're just going to stick this one out and wait for them to swap. And they're going right into that muck there. And we're going to swap into our Swamper. Now the Dark Pulses are going to hurt. And yeah, we don't like those. So what we're going to do is try to bait out a shield here. Now, I've been running into people who don't shield the first one, even though we built up to a potential Earthquake because they know better, and then they're going to go ahead and shield the second one and then get off another Dark Pulse. So it's going to kind of force us to shield. Now, what we're going to do is go ahead and let the Swampert go down. Unfortunately, they're going to be farming us a little bit here. Since Charm is still going to be doing a lot of damage to Muck, we're going to go right back in there with the Grampled while we're doing quite a bit of damage and gaining energy at this point, swapping into our Licky Licky. They're going back into Giratina and we're looking fantastic. We still have two shields at this point. I'm just holding on to them. They've only got one left, so we're just going to go ahead and go for the Shadow Ball in hopes that they let it go through and bingo bango, we do. And we're just <laughs> putting in work with this Licky Licky. I really enjoy it. So we're going to go ahead and just farm this thing down. We don't even have the opportunity to get our charge move off. Going for that Body Slam immediately here onto the Clefable, putting on pressure to make them use their last shield here. That's really good for us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a shield and go for another Body Slam, and I do believe I'm going to swap after I get this Body Slam. I do think so. We don't want them to farm us down for all that energy, and we're going to go ahead and go close combat. Not very effective, but it is going to be able to take out this Clefable here, and we take the win. Looking good. That's two wins down. Let's keep it moving here. Moving it in to the next match. We're met with a Kingdra. Yet again, another good lead. Let's go. All right, so we're just going to stick this one out here, expecting an Octazooka, so we're just going to go ahead and let this go through. If it was a Blizzard, that would have been troublesome and problematic, or, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, Hydro Pump, too. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go straight for the close combat onto the Registeel. We're going to stay in this fight and go ahead and let it take us out, and then we're just simply going to go in here with Swampert. We don't want to switch because then that's going to give them switch advantage, and we don't want to do that. So they are bringing out the Machamp here. So we're just going to go ahead and shield up this first cross chop. It really doesn't do much damage, but I want to keep this Swampert nice and healthy here for this matchup. Getting off that Hydro Cannon, they're shielding it up. As you can see, we're already back up to almost two Hydro Cannons. So we're going to go ahead and let this cross chop go through and just start uh, spamming that Machamp with Hydro Cannons here. Oh, or we're going to retreat with energy. That works too. Going into Licky Licky. Now this is also going to be super effective to us. Uh, but that's fine. Since Licky Licky is fairly tanky, we're going to be able to uh, just absorb those. They did make a swap into the Registeel here. Very nice. Now, if we went for Body Slam, I probably would have lost this. We're able to get to another Body Slam here. This is just going to do chip damage. Not very effective. Bringing the Registeel all the way down. Licky Licky putting in that work. Let's get it. Going back in here with Swampert. We saved that shield beautiful and now we're going to be able to get off this hydro cannon and take the win here so we were making all the right calls 
And we're going to try to bring that score back up, guys, because we do want to reach rank 10 potentially, or at least get close to. Moving it on to the next match, we're met with, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Another good lead. Am I dreaming here? Is this a dream? Somebody pinch me. They're swapping into Pinsir, and we're going to go right into our Swampert here, resisting that bullet punch, and we're just building up a ton of energy at this point, and it seems like they are as well. So we're just going to spam them with the Hydro Cannons at this point. Not going to even go for Earthquake because of that shield that they were going to be using potentially, and they're going for that Night Slash. I think they may get the boost towards the end here. So letting that first one go through because in case they do get the boost, we want to shield up that boosted one. We don't have to worry about that bullet punch, but at this point, a regular Night Slash is probably going to take us out, but that's fine. We're going to be able to spam these Hydro Cannons at a faster rate that they can get off those Night Slashes here. Getting to another one, and yeah, looking uh, pretty good. I was really happy with that lead, guys. It's always, it's not always about the lead. I mean, you could definitely lose if you have a good lead, obviously, right? It's just a matter of how you play it. So we're able to take down that Caesar with our Swampert. And at this point, they do decide to back out. They realize that that match is over. Moving it on to the next one here. Met with the Cresselia now. Getting a little tougher. This is not going to be as easy as the other ones. This is not necessarily a good lead, but it's not also a bad lead. So I think we're going to go ahead and shield up this first Moonblast here. Hopefully we do not lose our attack. And it did. There it goes. Yes, it does. Our tag did drop there, and they do have a Polyrath that they're swapping into on our Licky Licky, which is not great. Body Slams are still going to be doing a good amount of damage to it, but then they're going to be able to hit us with that really super effective, hard-hitting Dynamic Punch, which is going to do a ton of damage to us. I don't want to really waste a shield, honestly, because I can go back in here with the... Uh, Grand Bull and simply farm it down, but you're going to see exactly what happens here because <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm just, I'm going to go back in here with Grand Bull and farm down, but look at Licky Licky just putting in work. They're really building up a ton of energy at this point. They go for, I was thinking if they go for Ice Punch, oh my gosh, and they do. I was like, you know, that's not going to KO. So now I'm going to go for another Body Slam here and they're going to probably be forced to use a shield and they want to use a shield. They want to get off this uh, next charge move here and they are waiting to the very last second this is obviously going to be an Ice Punch. And are they going to have another one ready to go? The question is, are they even going to be able to get it off with Gramble? And no. We go in there and do a charm and down it goes. Bringing in that Cresselia and we do have energy ready to go. Going to hit it with that super effective crunch. Let's see if they use that shield. And they do. There is that last one there. We have the Swamper lying in wait, waiting for them to get off this Moonblast here. I think we're going to be saving the shield. Yes, we are. And swapping into... Swampert right after that, right when they use their energy, they have an Obstagoon in the back and that put a smile on my face because this is going to be a good matchup for us. Not only because we have a shield, but well, Swampert's going to be able to spam those Hydro Cannons, which are just so OP, doing so much damage. And then the Mudshot's going to be able to just charge so fast here. Now, the only problem that we would face is if they did get the boost here. And I think they might have. Let's see how this does play out. Hitting him with another one here. But at this point, I mean, I sure the boost will help them, but it's just so low anyways. So what I want to do here is swap into my Gramble, but the, t the switch clock is still going. So we're just going to be building up energy. And right after I get this off, then I'm going to swap. Well, wait, <laughs> it doesn't really matter because we just took it out. In comes Cresselia, able to get to another Hydro Cannon. Swamper just putting in the work here. And we're going to swap into our Gramble and then just charm it down. We'll at least try to. Going to be getting a Moonblast to the face. Save that shield to the very end. And thank goodness we did because we're able to take the win for it. And there you have my 5-0 set, folks. Using that Licky Licky team. Give it a shot. And remember, just because you pick these teams doesn't mean they're going to be performing great. There's also going to be just hard counters to your teams. I ran into some issues as well. I bring you guys a video earlier, but I mean, it is pretty solid for the most part. And yes, my score has dropped significantly for using random and weird stuff, but I'm going to get back on track here. So anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on. I'll be keeping you up to date. Take care, trainers.